Okay. Well, I have to, I have to change you first. You don't just get to get milkies. What this one? Oh, it's so handsome. Do the vitamin D drops, okay? Good job. What do you guys think the chances are that he actually stays asleep so I can cook breakfast and eat it without having to hold him? I did see this thing that when you are putting them to sleep, if they, oh, look at that little smile, that if you're putting them to sleep and they lay down and they start to wake up a little bit, you can kind of like pat them on the chest a little and that puts them into a little bit of a deeper sleep. So I just tried that and he closed his eyes back. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Date mission failed. He literally woke up as soon as I stopped recording. He's like ready to attack the day, mom. He's very content right now. So like, I'm just gonna leave him for a second, but, and see if I can at least finish cooking before I have to pick him up. But mission failed. He literally woke up as soon as I put the camera down. I am so tired today. It is one of those tireds when like, you wake up and you feel like you woke up in a fog, you know what I mean? Like there's no other way to explain it. I don't know what it was. I don't know if like when I woke up for the day I was in like a deep sleep. And so I still feel kind of like groggy and just sleepy. And I'm hoping that like after I've been up for a little bit, I mean, we've almost been up for like two hours now, but after I've been up for a little bit, I start to feel a little bit better. Maybe get some food in me, but I, it's just like a fog today. We are getting started cooking ourselves some breakfast this morning, whipping up the normal two pieces of toast. I have two eggs, some peppers, some ham. We scrambled them all up and I'm hoping that I can eat them before he gets super fussy because he's up and he's awake for the morning but he's been doing a lot better at kind of just like laying there and being a little bit more independent without needing to be like attached to me some of the time I mean like it's still it's it's hit or miss it's hit or miss but he right now he's content so I'm hoping I can finish cooking this scarf it on up real quick and then get ready for the day oh I forgot to put cheese in there Mom brain. Vlogs are my personal favorite videos to watch. I love watching people just go through their like regular life and just popping the camera up and filming. So that is what I love filming for you guys. And so that is what we are going to do. We don't have a ton going on today. Obviously we don't do much, but I am going to get my nails done today and it is the first time since having AJ that I'm going to be leaving him. And I am so nervous about it not because he will not be taken care of he's my mom is coming over and she's going to be taking care of him and literally she is better with babies than anybody else that i know she literally had six of us but i am just oh one moment she is literally better with kids than anybody else in this entire world but it is the first time as soon as I, as soon as I started filming, it's like he knows. I feel like right now he is his neediest, like first thing in the morning and right before bed. Like I literally feel like in the middle of the day, he doesn't need me. Couldn't care less if I'm here, who's holding him, whether it's me, whether it's somebody else, literally doesn't matter. Could sleep for like three, four hours in the middle of the day, but it's like first thing in the morning and right before bed he wants to be nursing non-stop or he literally just wants to be attached to me like look at him right now he is holding on to my shirt for dear life like the fact that i just put him down to make breakfast was the worst thing in the entire world that i could have done for him having a nice and fussy day today so in order for me to be able to get myself ready for the day i'm gonna try to baby wear him and we're gonna see how this goes so this is the wrap that i was telling you guys about in my last vlog so basically it starts at the midline and I'll wrap it on up. Ideally, if he let you, you would tuck his head into right here, like it would turn and lay on your chest, and this strap would come up and kind of keep his neck nice and protected. But clearly, from the way he's just looking at me, we're not gonna let that happen, huh? We just wanna be out. So this is gonna to have to work for now and one hand's gonna be holding his head to support it a little bit more, but very hands-free in comparison, so. Went from being pregnant and not being able to reach my feet because I had a big belly to now being a mom and not being able to reach my feet 
because I have a baby attached to me all the time. So at least being pregnant has prepared me. Like I feel like I trained for nine months for this moment. I'm going to put him into his car seat after this and then we are going to head out onto a walk because he is asleep right now. I like to take him on my walks in between when I know he's gonna need to be changed or fed and he was screaming the entire time that I was getting ready today and he finally settled down a little bit. So I'm hoping that if we go on a walk right now, he'll sleep for like a solid 45 minutes to an hour and then we'll get back and I'll have to feed him and change him and kind of continue the cycle. But I figured since he's nice and relaxed right now, take advantage of it and let's go out on a walk. We just beat the rain on that walk. Literally, we got back and I started to hear thunder. So I am so glad that we went when we did because it felt so good to get outside. But oh my Lord, we barely made it. Now that we're back, he is still asleep in his car seat. He typically does this for a little bit after we get back from our walk. So I am going to try to pump on the one side while he is sleeping. And that way when he wakes up, I'll feed him on the other side. So I'm trying to get everything like assembled now. I have this nice little basket with all my pumping parts. So I'm gonna hope that I can at least pump for like 10 minutes before he wakes up. I have the Medela pump in style and I have loved it so far. I feel like it is very user friendly and super, super easy to work, which is all you can ask for. I've been trying to pump like once per day on one of the sides just to start building up a supply. Like today I'm going to the nail salon just in case he needs to eat something while I'm gone. I want him to have something here. I have some appointments next week. I'm gonna be going back into the gym hopefully in a week or two. So I just want him to have a stash for when I'm not around and also to like break up the day or the night in case Timmy wants to give him a bottle or my mom's over and she wants to give him a bottle. I think it'll just be nice to give myself a feed of rest if I can and I have that bottle supply but I also right now really just want to create a stash for when I'm not around but without creating an oversupply because I do still want to be breastfeeding on demand when he needs it right now I just want to create that stash for when I'm not around or when I just need like a moment of rest to myself Don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine. Guys, that was like a really, really hard mom moment for me and like I can't even believe I'm picking up the camera while I'm like half in tears but I just want to be honest with you guys that was really really difficult I he was laying on me and we were just relaxing and snuggling and I wanted to like pull my bra strap back up after I was done feeding him and when I was about to do that I hit him in the head and like I kind of I didn't scratch him with my nail but it looked like I scratched him with my nail and he woke up like so startled and was screaming at the top of his lungs and I just feel so bad that I caused him so much pain and obviously he's okay like I rocked him to sleep so now he's like totally and completely fine but it was just the worst feeling in the entire world when he screamed and he woke up screaming and it was my fault like I felt immediately like a bad mom like the guilt was just immediately there it just it was really really rough it was the first time that like either Timmy or I have caused him like quote unquote pain and I know he's okay like there's not even a scratch on him he's clearly asleep and he's fine right now but it was just really difficult because I, you never want to see your child in pain period and then it was just really hard to know that like I am the reason that he was in pain so it was just like a really rough moment so I just attached him to me and just started singing and rocking him and now he's asleep so I'm just hoping he stays like this for a little bit before I have to go to my nail appointment. I'm gonna feed him again right before. But oh my God, guys, it's just it's just really rough. Like that was just a really, really hard moment that I knew that I caused him so much pain. Like the mom guilt is real. Like even the fact that I'm going to go get my nails done 
in a little bit it's the first time that i'm leaving him since i've had him and like i told you guys this morning he's gonna be with my mom who is literally probably better with babies and kids than i am she literally had six of us she is so amazing with kids i'm leaving plenty of food like they'll be bottled it's just like i feel guilty i feel bad that like i'm taking this moment for myself like i just feel like i should be here with him like i don't feel like i should go leave like i'm like what if he needs me in that hour and a half that I'm gone getting my nails done and like I know I need to take care of myself I need to prioritize myself as well and that's why I'm doing it and I'm going because I love getting my nails done and it makes me so happy but it's just the first time that I'm leaving him and so it's gonna just be a little hard this time because I'm just not used to it but dang that like mom girl everyone talks about it and it's just so real I just like I can't I, it was just really hard to see the, him in pain and know that I was the reason that he was in pain even though he is okay now and I know it's just the first of many of those moments unfortunately it was just the first one it was really difficult and knowing that I'm going to be leaving him like it's just I don't know you just sometimes feel like a bad mom and I know I'm not and I know everyone feels this way but I just want to share because it was just a tough moment this is what I decided to do with my nails nice little orange moment I am absolutely obsessed with them I think they turned out so good I literally drove my car today for the first time in like three and a half weeks and you ever have you ever gone so long without driving your car that you're like do I still remember how to drive like am I still going to be capable of driving at this point like or did I entirely forget like I really do not know and I didn't forget I did remember how to drive my car so I was proud of that it was literally I was only gone for right about two hours by the time I drove there got my nails done drove home but oh my god guys I was so sad the entire time just being away from him I literally feel like I left my heart at home like it was just so sad being away from him and it felt good to get my nails done and take care of myself and do something for me but oh my god it was so weird after not being with him for literally three and a half weeks I mean really nine months because I was carrying him in my belly the whole time but for three and a half weeks we've been together <laughs> bless you We've been together non-stop. It was so weird to not be with him for that little bit of time. And he was obviously in literally the best care of the entire world. And my mom was sending me pictures and he literally did not miss me at all. He slept the entire time. But oh my God, I just missed him so much. I just missed his cute little face. So now we just fed him and we are playing on his play mat a little bit. We're gonna do some tummy time and then we're gonna chill for a little bit before we have some friends come over for dinner in a bit. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. All right, Wendy, some tummy time. Which way do we want to face today? We liked the mirror last time, but let's go this way. Maybe we'll like the outdoors. Good job. Hi. Can you lift your head up for mommy? Hello. Oh, yeah. There he is. There he is. Good job. This stain accurately represents where we are at this morning. Oh my lord. This like 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. hour, I call it his 9 a.m. power hour. Oh my lord, he is just so hungry. He just wants to be held and he just wants to be eating nonstop. Like look at the way he, he's literally, I gave him a pacifier to chill him out for like a few seconds. But as soon as I'm done making my chai, he's going to want to eat again. That's kind of the reality of the mornings right now. He literally just spit up all over me. I had to change him and his diaper. Now I'm just going to quickly make myself a nice chai. And then I'm going to feed him again. And then hopefully we're going to get out on a walk. We did end up going for a walk with my mom a little bit ago. He is in this like interesting phase right now where we put him in his car seat when he's asleep and he's content for a little bit. And then all of a sudden he's just like not content anymore. And he's like screaming and he's crying and he will literally do anything and everything in his power to get out of his car seat. So that happened starting two days ago. It happened again yesterday and then today when we were on our walk dead asleep when we put him into the car seat nice and happy we made it like almost a mile of him like really happy and content and then all of a sudden he was screaming at the top of his lungs and all he wanted was to get out of his car seat and as soon as we took him out of his car seat literally stopped crying totally fine completely happy it's just like so interesting he just wants to be held like as long as you're literally holding him 
not a big deal at all. He's super happy. I literally had a moment this morning that I was like, I'm just gonna baby wear him on our walk today because I have like a walking carrier instead of kind of the cloth one that I've been using around the house. So I was like, let me try that out today and I'll take that on our walk. And then I was like, meh, it's no big deal. He's really happy. He'll be fine in the stroller. It's gonna be a lot easier to like push him than to carry him. And I didn't and then oh my god, I just wish I would have because we ended up carrying him for like the little bit left of our walk We cut our walk short obviously because he was crying and then we were like holding him without a carrier So it's just like not the most comfortable thing in the world So we ended up cutting our walk short, but I was like I should have just trusted my gut and I should have just brought the carrier Like I thought that I should have because literally as soon as we took him out of the stroller and we put him on our chest We finished out our walk like that He slept the entire time and then he slept for literally another like hour and a half two hours after that like so happy So now from now on I'm just gonna have to bring the carrier with us when we go on walks and if he's unhappy in the stroller i'll take him out and i'll wear him and we'll go from there but i was like i should have just trusted my gut the whole time like i thought that i should have i just thought that me i thought that since he was content it would have been fine but it simply was not sometimes i literally think he's having a fussy moment only when he's with me just because he smells me and my milk and all of that so even though he's not hungry i literally fed him probably like a half hour ago He's convinced himself it's okay. Shh. He's convinced himself that he is hungry because he's with me and he smells my milk and he knows that he can eat. So like right now he's like, well, if I can eat, I want to be able to eat. And so right now he's also like been so much more aware of everything. Like I think he's starting to be able to see more and hear more. And so I think he's getting like overstimulated sometimes because he's just like seeing so much, hearing so much that for like a comfort he wants to eat. And I also think that just because he's been awake more, because his wake windows are getting bigger, that he thinks that because he's awake, he needs to be eating. So right now, it's a little bit of a learning curve for us, right? But it's okay. Like, so, especially when I'm home by myself, like I am right now, for a few more minutes, because Timmy went food shopping, it's okay. It's sometimes hard, because I don't think he's really necessarily hungry. Like, he's right now should be napping. His eyes will start to go. But he's, like, fighting sleep, because one, he thinks that he's hungry, because he's with me. And two, I'll be like talking to him, and I'll, or I'll like walk by a window and be like, oh, what's that? Like, I think he just gets FOMO. Like, he's afraid that he's gonna miss something now. So it's something we're working through. It's okay. Timmy <coughs> just gave AJ his first ever bottle, and he took it so well. I was so nervous about it because people will say, like, okay, sometimes breastfed babies aren't used to like the nipple of bottles or it's like not the same because it's not their mom's warmth. And so he gave him one of the bottles that I pumped today and he literally took it right away. I am so excited about it. It was such a good feeling knowing that he is going to take bottles and I feel like it was just such a nice moment to like see Timmy feeding him. Like it was just, I just loved it. I'm just so happy it went so well. I'm just saying he literally drank the entire thing. Like I said, you guys, I have no idea how much he's actually drinking, of course, when he is drinking breast milk and he's drinking it from me. So the bottle that I pumped was right about three ounces and he literally drank the entire thing. So I feel like that's a good gauge now that like probably most of his feeds, I would say are around two to three ounces, but that's like a good gauge when I'm pumping to try to get that much into like a bag so that way he has enough for a bottle every single feed. I honestly feel like this adjustment to motherhood has been one of the most amazing, but also the most challenging adjustments of my entire life. I always knew that I wanted to be a mom. It was just something that I knew that I wanted. And I also like felt like, how will I know I'm ready? I always used to say like, I'm too selfish right now to have kids. Like I want to be able to do things when I want to be able to do things. Like I felt like I had a good gauge that like I, at that point in my life was not at all ready to have kids. And then it was like something clicked. And I was like, okay, I feel like I'm ready now. Like, I feel like I'm ready to take on this new chapter of my life. And I was ready to have kids. Like, it has been the most incredible thing in the whole world. Till I knew I was ready to have kids was like, what if I like lose myself to being a mom? And I really don't feel like I have. I feel like I found a new version of myself. I feel like I found like a better version of myself, to be honest with you. I just think for me, the biggest thing right now that can be really really difficult is that i don't get a break and i know that that sounds super super selfish but like everyone else right now in aj's life gets a break like even timmy for example he goes to work 
and he works all day. And I'm not saying that's like relaxing or anything like that, but he does get a break away from AJ to be his own person. Like he has a whole life right now at work and out and about outside of just the confines of our home and the, our, the confines of AJ. Where me, for example, because right now I'm not working and I'm home 24 seven, AJ literally is my entire life, especially because I'm breastfeeding. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I don't wanna make it ever seem like I'm complaining or I'm ungrateful. I just wanna be really honest that that has been the most difficult thing for me right now is that I never get a quote unquote break. Like if it's a really long day and he's crying a lot and he's really fussy and he wants to eat 24 seven, like I don't, right now I don't get to just leave and walk away and go on a target run or go food shopping or go out with my friends. Like it's getting to that point now that I am pumping where I will be able to take some time for myself and be able to do things. But of course, in the very, very beginning of his life, it wasn't able to be like that. And that is something that I chose and I do not by any means regret it. But it's just the reality that that was the way that things were and he needed me 24 seven. And so it can be really, really difficult when I feel like I'm sitting in the house all day, every day, and all I do is change diapers and breastfeed and rock a crying baby to sleep. And again, I don't ever wanna sound like I'm ungrateful. I just think that that has been the most challenging part for me, becoming a mom. And you feel guilty even saying that, that there are challenging aspects to it, but of course there are. You know, it's this huge new thing that I've never done before. And my life as of three, four weeks ago was entirely different than it is right now. And it's not that different. It's actually the most amazing and incredible change that I've ever made in my life. I'm so grateful for him. I'm so happy for him. He is the best thing. I do not know how I lived my life without him before. Honestly, I really do not know what I did without him. I'm so grateful to have him. I think it's the best thing to me I have ever done. I love this new chapter of our life, but it is challenging that right now, it's the per my favorite time of year. And I love summer and I love being able to sit outside in the sun and go to the beach and go on hikes. And right now at this current point in my life, because of how little he is, I really can't do any of that. I really can't take a beach day without him because of course I don't, I don't, and I don't want to, I don't want to be gone a whole day without him. I can't sit out in the sun all day with him. So sometimes we sit out in the sun, I sit out in the sun and I put him in the shade and we hang out a little, but then he might start to cry. Then he might start to need me. So a lot of the things that I love right now, it just Honestly, to put it the best way possible, it's just a very selfless time in my life. And I knew it would be, and that's why I wanted to wait until I knew I was absolutely ready to have kids, and I feel like I am. But I just wanna be honest that that is the biggest challenge now being his mom, is it is a very, very selfless time where I'm giving all of myself to him right now. And it's the most incredible thing in the world, but it's also the most challenging thing that I've ever done. And I just wanna be honest about that. I do feel like when I can start going back into the gym and now that I'm pumping and like Timmy can give him a bottle, I feel like I will start to like, feel like I'm getting a little bit of myself and my normalcy back and I'll have an hour here, an hour there for myself. And I feel like that's all I need. I don't wanna be away from him for a full day. I literally get so upset when I have to be without him for a long period of time. But I definitely want aspects of normalcy and time to myself as well to have a quote unquote break for lack of a better word. So I just wanna be honest, that that's kind of where I'm at right now. I have loved it. It has been the best thing I've ever done, the most rewarding thing that I've ever done. But of course, it has also been the most challenging thing that I've ever done. And of course, I think the longer that he's here, the longer that I'm a mom, the easier, for lack of a better word, easier it will be, the more adapted I'll get to it. But right now it's also fresh and so new. He's only a month old, almost a month old, that's actually absurd. Almost a month old, and it's all still so new, but it's definitely been the mo the biggest adjustment thus far. So that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys like the video, please make sure you like and give it a big thumbs up. You already know, it supports my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video that I post. If you haven't, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and TikTok so you can see all the 30 lifestyle content I post on there. And I will catch you guys here next time.